Sometimes on the modules you'll see where they've taken the first letter and made it much larger than the other text and sometimes it occupies multiple lines of text. So Affinity Publisher has the built-in feature for doing that. That's a text style and it's called Drop Caps. So if I click on this you can see it made the first letter of this uh, set of text larger. If I double click on that, I can edit it. So right now you can see that it occupies three lines of regular text. So it's three times the height of normal text. And I can um, increase that. So you know, here I, I'm gonna set up to five lines of text. So that looks okay. And then this is where you can get creative and use some of those uh, fonts that you wouldn't ordinarily ordinarily use like the uh, black adder or I'm going to use the gothic fonts for this one or the gothic font and so you can see that this overlaps my text a little bit um, so if I go into my drop caps I have this control distance to text I can increase that until it no longer overlaps the text um, so that looks pretty good uh, the other thing I can do is I could add a uh, change the color of this. Um, I can make it dark green or I've seen it where they um, you can add a, a gradient to this. If you double click on that you can come in and edit the gradient um, to change it uh, for different effects. Move these around or you could add uh, for instance I could add a different color if I wanted to. by double clicking on that and then you can position you know to control the range of the um, of the colors until you get something you like so that's what that looks like uh, thanks let me know if you have any comments or questions